Hi there, Dr. Zwelling here. I'd like to talk to you today about privacy. In the news, in everybody's news, in everybody's newspaper, this is a scary time. And if you're a patient and you've been to a doctor's office, you must be thinking, who else is listening? Who could get my medical records? And this is very important and rather complex, as a matter of fact. Please listen carefully. Years ago, Congress passed what they call HIPAA, and that was the Patient Protection Act. Theoretically, it was supposed to protect you and keep things private. HIPAA is not about privacy. Let me be perfectly clear. Any entity that can be make itself a covered entity, a covered entity, is allowed to look at your medical record. That could be the company that sells diapers down the street. That can be the pharmaceutical company. That can be your insurance company. So beware, lots of people have access to your records, even though you think they're private. Every time your doctor sends a record to your insurance company and puts a number on it, a code on it, you're given that diagnosis, and that is cemented to your name. Let me give you a hypothetical. You go to your doctor because you'd like to talk about hypertension. Your parents had high blood pressure. Your brother has high blood pressure. You want to prevent high blood pressure in you. You never want to have to think about it. What do you need to do? What kind of diet? Do you need to lose weight? You have legitimate questions. You go to your doctor. Your doctor answers the questions and sends a claim to your insurance company for the time that he spent with you. What diagnosis does he use? Hypertension. Now you're Mary Smith with hypertension. Every time a claim goes to the government or your insurance company, every time a prescription is written, you are tagged with that diagnosis. This is not about anybody invading your, your, your medical record. This is before any, anything with computers. This is before the government uh, uh, interferes with your phone calls. This is not about emails. This is what is happening now. This is what has happened all along. Every time you send off your record to, your, to get, for instance, new long-term health care insurance and somebody asks for your doctor's records, they send the record. And now that is part of your longtime public health record. Have you ever wondered sometimes when you see those commercials on TV and the insurance company says that they deny no one and you don't even have to send your medical record? Did you ever wonder, why wouldn't I have to send them my medical record? Well, sometimes you don't because they already have it. You see, somehow they've contracted with a covered entity and they already know your medical history. So your medical privacy has been gone for some time. Let's talk about how you might retrieve it. First of all, ask your doctor to not send your insurance company a claim. Now what that means for you is you'll have to pay for your visit. That, that, that visit cannot go to your insurance company. Doctors such as myself take care of patients Patients pay me on a yearly basis, and I do not send their claim anywhere. Their record is private. It is here. If your doctor does use an electronic medical record, make sure that it goes nowhere. There is a new catchphrase these days. It's called meaningful use. My personal opinion, it's not meaningful or useful, except to the government who wants to collect your doctor's data about you and then give your doctor a bonus for sending them your most private data. Obviously, I don't participate. Ask your doctor if he or she participates. And if he does, make sure that they don't participate on your behalf. You must try to keep your record private. Recently, I had a patient's long-term insurance denied simply because a doctor sent in an erroneous medical record by accident. It's very hard to prove a negative, you know. And once somebody has a medical record, well, it actually is tagged to your person. It's glued to your hip. Very difficult to get out from under a false claim. Privacy, well, I think we've all kind of kissed that one goodbye. But I do think there are things that you can do personally to assure as much privacy as possible. And the first thing is talk to your doctor the next time you have a visit and make sure you have signed a form that says you want your record going nowhere. Except, of course, with your personal approval to another physician, perhaps, to the hospital if you're admitted, or anywhere that you want it to go. But make sure that your doctor always instructs, is instructed by you personally as to where that medical record will be delivered. And make sure that it is delivered encrypted 
and make sure that it is delivered privately. You know, your life, you own it. Nobody else. And you've got to keep it close to the best. Close to the best. It's nobody else's business. It really isn't. Privacy is very important. I respect it. You should too. Thank you for your time.